Greetings, saints of God, brothers and sisters. This is J.R. Long with the Watchman's Cry and the Fire of Christ Ministries. Brothers and sisters, I just want to come on here for just a moment. I'm feeling much better over our sickness. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Um, thank you for your prayers. All my brothers and sisters, thank y'all for praying. Uh, we are just at the tail end of this thing, and um, we are feeling much better. Still got the snifflies, sniffle noses, and all that. But other than that, we are we are uh, feeling a lot better. Brothers and sisters, I want to come on here for just a moment and talk. Listen, brothers and sisters, there are some very strange things that are going on around us um, in the skies at nighttime. There's things that I've been seeing. Um, in the air that are just kind of um they're odd and strange things that we wouldn't have seen in the air 20 years ago and folks what are these things no one know well some people know the leaders the elites the freemasons and the illuminati all of those people in power the enemy's puppets they know what they are um but we we don't you know and that's okay we god knows what they are also and and we know that we are protected that we are covered by the blood of jesus christ of nazareth yeshua the messiah and um we we are safe brothers and sisters the times the signs of the times that we're in we know that we are in the very last of the last of the last days that any moment christ can crack that sky open and take us all away um and also, I'm going to touch a little bit on that also, um, because, saints, we all want to hope that we get raptured out of here. But you, you, you got to have a, a good balance, saints, that if we aren't raptured out of here and we do have to go through the tribulation, saints, we have to be prepared mentally and physically and spiritually to go through it. OK, each one of us, each Christian is going through different things in their life right now. And 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 you need to pay attention to what you're going through, saints, because if you're going through something extremely hard right now, it's some kind of extreme test. Saints, you never know if that's God preparing you for the things that are to come. OK, now, we want to be raptured out of here. We want to hope for that. Saints, but tell me, I want you to think about this logically. You think about it for yourself, okay? God gave you a, a good brain, and I want you to use it. Peter, James, John, Paul, brothers and sisters, all of our, all, all of our heroes of our faith, they had to go through horrifying, terrible, terrible things that they're to, until death. Saints. Why do we think that we would just get to live our comfortable little lives and get raptured out of here with no problems, never having to go through anything difficult while you've got starving people over in other countries with with no electricity? They suffer day in and day out. Saints, those are the ones that I will I believe will be able to be raptured out of here. I just don't I don't know, saints. I don't know. It's it's hard to say that without a shadow of a doubt no we're get saints i don't know i don't think it's gonna happen like that and i may be wrong but my spirit says different because we are comfortable over here in america saints we're saturated with god's word and and so for us just to think that we get pulled out of here with no problems and no never having to really go through any hard times i think the devil has a lot of us fooled in that area i really do because think about this. Think about how, at what of a disadvantage we would be at when the rapture happens and there's a lot of saints that are still here. Think about the disadvantage that they're going to be in. They're going to be in such a dazed state that they're not even going to be able to function properly because of what has happened and they feel like they're left behind. Saints, we've got to be prepared we got to be prepared. Isn't that smart to think that way? That, that yes, we can hope for the harpazo, but we must be ready for war if that's what it means, saints. And I'm not talking about fighting guns. No, I'm talking about spiritual war. We need to be prepared and ready for that, saints, regardless. And if it just so happens that um, he, he opens it up and snatches us all away, praise God. For that very moment, praise Jesus Christ, we cannot wait. But we got to be smart, saints. There are some things that are happening, saints, around the world that are just in the skies and just are just abnormal. 
Okay, but Christ said all these things would happen. And he said that, that to, when we see these things, we know that the end is here. Okay, it, it is right here. We are in the very last of the very last of the very last days. Saints, be prepared. Be trying to spread the kingdom wherever you are. Don't get complacent, saints. Don't get complacent. Still be spreading it in the gospel in your streets and on your neighborhood. Get out in your neighborhood. Get out and walk up and down your neighborhood. Talk to the people in your neighborhood. Make sure they're saved. Make sure that they have not taken the you-know-what. And if try to stop them before they do it if you can. Saints, talk to the children in your neighborhood. Share the gospel with these children. You, you never know the joy that it brings the Lord to see you down here in in your neighborhood, wherever you may be, spreading the gospel, talking with his little ones about his word and teaching them about him. Saints, I try to do this every day that I can when we get home in the evenings and before we do any ministry work or anything, I try to get out here and play with these children in my neighborhood and talk to them about the Lord. And make sure that they know about him. Every Sunday morning, we always go around to every house. And, and sometimes we have to take multiple loads. And we load these children up that their parents have never taken them to church a day in their life. But they want to go. We load them up and take them. Sometimes we have to come two or three times to get them all there. Saints, you need to be doing the same thing. Be excited about the kingdom of God. Be excited about expanding his kingdom. Be excited about teaching the children about God's word. He loves those children. And you never know, you may be placed in the neighborhood that you're in because you're the only light in that neighborhood. Think about that, saints. You may be the only light in your neighborhood. Are you doing what God sent you there to do? Are you spreading God's word? Are you out in your neighborhood daily talking to the people, trying to make sure that they're saved, trying to lead them to Christ? Are you are you being the example that God would have you to be? Or are you fitting in with the rest of the world and doing the exact same things that they're doing? You need to think about this, saints. Think about this. Saints, open your eyes, look around and see everything that's happening. You know that we, that our Savior is soon to return. We know that all these things spoke, spoken of in Daniel and Revelation are soon to take place. Be prepared, saints. Be in your word. Be spreading the gospel. Be the light in your community. Be the light in your workplace. Be the light in your family. Be the light wherever you are, saints. You are called to this. You are, we are beings of light. Now let your light shine. Let your light shine. Exercise your faith, saints. We are to exercise our faith. Don't be, don't be like these religious people around. Don't have a religious spirit, saints, but, but, but live by the word of God and do what his word says. Saints, don't have this religious spirit that you think that you're better than everyone. Saints, because we're not. None of us are better than anyone. We ought to be out here, and if, if need be, washing the feet, the feet of the widows, watching, washing the feet of the elders, washing the feet of your next-door neighbor. Could you imagine what that would do if you if you went to your neighbor and tried to wash their feet? And in Jesus Christ's mighty name, out of love and compassion, what would that do to their hearts? What would that do to them? Saints, that would touch them. And that would that would cause them to want the same things that you have. And that is Jesus Christ and the light of Jesus Christ. Saints, I hope you're prospering and growing daily. This is going to be somewhat of a short video. I promise that they'll get longer soon. Um, and just give me a little time. We got our business that we own and then the other, the, the three ministries that we run. Saints, bear with me. And um, look, join the fight, saints. What are you doing? Join the fights. This minist these ministries are led by Jesus Christ. Saints, we, we look to him for everything. We don't do anything without coming to him first. So join the fight, saints. Subscribe, like, and share these videos and get them out. Saints, we're running out of time. We got to try to meet, try, try to, uh, meet as many people, reach, excuse me, as many people as we possibly can. Do your part, saints. Share these videos. Like them. Subscribe. Saints, and we, the beast system is coming up all around us and we got to do our best to battle it and to fight it and to war against it. Saints, and, 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 and allow ourselves to be the vessel that God needs us to be in these times. 
Saints, I pray for each one of you daily. I hope that you have not taken the, the you know what, Saints, and I hope that you're warning everybody that you can to not take that. It is, an, it is the abomination, Saints. You are no longer a human being when you take that. Your, your, your entire body and its makeup is changed, okay? You got to know this. You got to know this. These are facts. I have researched this to my, to the to my face turns blue. It is true, saints. They are trying to hide it as long as they can. Be aware. May your eyes be open. I pray that you prosper and grow daily in Christ. I pray that your strength is your faith is strengthened, and I pray that you are exercising your faith, saints. I love each and every one of you around the world and pray for you daily. And I hope that you're praying for us in these ministries, saints. That's what we're supposed to do. We're to be here for one another and pray for one another. Saints, I love all of you. And I and I think of you daily. I think of all my brothers and sisters around the world. And I and I hope that y'all are y'all's relationship with Christ is growing stronger every day. I love you all again, and I, and I pray that you all have a, a blessed and safe weekend. Be in your word, saints, and be on your knees in prayer and fasting. You all have a blessed weekend, saints. Goodbye. Until next time.